Okay, welcome back folks to um, one of the videos that we I, I wanted to share with you in which we look at the outcome or what you should supposed to, what you're supposed to see when you're running um, checkpoint wine of milestone three. So this is just to give you an idea whether your implementation is correct or not. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I have provided you um, with a GitHub repo that contains some a user library that you can use to register, withdraw, deregister, or the same thing and yield. Um, and there's instructions here if you're using some different um, character convention um, for, for you to use. So I'll just show you what these things do and what you should expect to see. So let's take a look at user app.c first. Um, this is firstly going to register a process, then it's going to run 50 iterations of um, just computing powers of two um, a, lot, a big number of times and then um, withdraw the process or deregister the process and then we are uh, pretty much done. So um, let's see what happens when we run this um, file. As you expect when we first register a process we're gonna put it directly to sleep and then we're gonna depending on when the next timer fires this is when the first the process is gonna first get scheduled to run so there will be a time where the process will be put to sleep um, even though there aren't any other processes ready to go um, we might just not schedule it yet so that's just something we have to live with in in our schedule so let's go ahead and see what happens so we're gonna wait a little bit and then the process starts registering um, or re finishes re registration um, and then it goes to complete all um, 50 iterations. So we're just gonna wait for it to complete, then deregister, and then we're done. Okay, so if you if you are able to run this with one process, that's great. We have completed the first step, or um, we have made a, a, a big step towards actually um, running things correctly. So what happens if we actually now run more than one instance of this process? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna run two user apps. Again, it's going to take some time for them to start registration. You can see the first one is actually running while the second one is paused. After five seconds, they're going to switch. Again, so you can see five seconds corresponds to about 15 iterations. So as we get to around 15-ish iterations, we swap from iteration one to um, uh, or from process one to process two and then go back and forth until we are completely all right, so we're going to wait for the second one to finish. And then once process one was done, process two is actually no longer needs to stop every five seconds. Since there's only one process, we're going to keep rescheduling the same process. So we're just going to skip over it, keep rescheduling so uh, m multiple times until it's completely done. Okay, so now let's turn our attention to testing the yield call. So we're going to take a look at yieldapp.c, which is pretty much the same, except for the fact that it's going to yield execution after each every it's after each iteration of this loop, right? So we're going to run one iteration process one, one iteration process two, or in a sense, each process will run iteration yield, run one iteration yield, you know, run one iteration yield, and so on and so forth until we complete all of uh, the 50 iterations. So let's just run this um, on its own. If we run it on its own, we're not going to see that much of a difference between um, the two processes, except where, we're, where there's like additional printfs telling us that the process has is yielding, and um, that's pretty much it. But we're not going to see a delay in the execution, because once it, the process yields, there's no other process to run, it gets rescheduled back again. Okay, so now let's see what happens if we run two of these. So let's go ahead and launch these two. So you can see we complete one iteration here, one iteration there, one iteration here, one iteration there. Um, so after each yield, we switch from one of these processes to the other. Right, so and we, can, we keep doing this until um, the first one completes, and then pretty much they're going to complete around the same time because it's one iteration each. Um, but that's pretty much the way things um, happen. As you can notice, the difference is that we're not waiting for five seconds now or 15 iterations each. We're just waiting for one iteration um, each. If you can get to this point, um, if this is the output you're getting, then pretty much you are done with checkpoint um, one. And then we can move on um, later on to checkpoint. 
too. All right. So that's everything I wanted to share with you um, in this video. Um, and I'll see you later on in class. Over and out.